Hello guys, it's Nancy with Better Life Blog. How are you? If you are watching the replay, would you just type replay in the comments? It's been a while since I've been on. Um, let me just make sure I'm actually on live. Hope you guys are doing good. Oh, that's me. Hi. So how are you guys? Um, today, uh, I sent off my baby, my three-year-old. So the other two were, hey, Alicia, what's up, girl? My other two, my older kids started school last week, but my, my baby, my three-year-old started preschool. And so I'm going to have more um, adult grown-up time in the mornings to do crafting and fun things like that. So um, I've missed you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful summer. I um, hope you guys are all doing good. Hey, Heather. How are you guys? Okay, so today we're going to start off. We're going to do a cool project. Um, we're going to make a sign. It's a farmhouse sign. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get my overhead screen. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see my table, my hands, what I'm working on. Let me know if you guys can see that. Um, and so this file, um, some of you guys might already have, but if you don't have it, make sure you go to Better Life Blog. Well, you can't see it yet because I haven't weeded it. Once I weed it, you're going to say, how can I get that file? And I'm going to be like, well, it's free. It's on the homepage. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so let me start by reading out this design. Oh, I miss you too. Oh, I didn't see that part, Heather. I miss you too, girl. I miss you guys. I have, it's, been, uh, it's been a year. Let me just tell you, it has been a year. Um, like, I don't... I. I usually talk about like all my personal stuff uh, with my VIP, but um, my family has gone through a lot this past year and I'm just so, so thankful. They are, to my parents, they're doing, they're doing better. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been rough. It's been a rough year, but I'm just so, so thankful. God is so good and he's, brought us through this tough time. So um, my mom what, had breast cancer. She was diagnosed with breast cancer last October. And she, I'm so proud of her. She's such an amazing, amazing woman. And um, so anyway, and so my, my dad also went through some health issues as well. They're both just, I'm so proud of them. They're um, strong, strong people. They have strong faith and um, yeah. So anyway, so it's been a tough year, but I am just so, so glad that they are doing better. God bless them. Um, and I'm glad to be back crafting. Kids are back at school. The littlest one is starting school for the first time ever. So how are you guys doing? Yes, it's back to school time. Some people are not some people are not quite back in school yet. I know some places when I was, when I used to, when I was a, a kid, we didn't start school until um, like the week before Labor Day. So so if you guys don't know, this is a hand, homemade weeding tool. I do have a video on this. Um, and maybe it's not easily accessible. Hey there, Robin. How are you? I, I need to. I need to. Um, I think I need to put this up. I'm not sure if I have this up on YouTube, but I need to create like a special page for this. This is my my weeding um, mechanical pencil. It's very convenient. Um, it's retractable, and it's super easy to make. I made a video on it. Um, but I need to I need to put it up somewhere where I could just say, go to you know, betterlifeblog.com slash weeding pen or something. But I don't I don't have that up quite yet. So I'll, I'll set that up, and I'll let you guys know the next time I go live. 
So um, for those of you just joining, this file is free on the homepage. Just go to betterlifeblog.com. And on the homepage, if you scroll down a little bit, there is a welcome bundle. And it's got a bunch of awesome free files that you can download. How have you guys been doing? What have you got? What have you guys done this summer? What's something different that you've done? What is a movie that you saw? I saw. I was telling my VIP girls, I, I saw The Lion King, and I saw Aladdin this past summer. I don't know if we saw any other movies in the theater, because um, it is hard to take a three-year-old to the theater. <laughs> it, is, it is really hard. Like, I, I think next time I should bring, like, gifts for the people sitting next to us and be like, thank you so much for not killing us during this during this show. Um, I wish there was a way for me to both. Um, anyway, and so um, both movies were great, but it's all, I mean, it just made me want to watch the originals, which I haven't done yet. I haven't go, gone back and watched the originals. I need to get them. I think I bought, had bought them like on Apple TV, but now we don't really use Apple TV as much anymore. Um, we use like Amazon or something. So now we started buying stuff on Amazon. So it's like once you buy something on a certain platform, <laughs> um, if you switch platforms, then you kind of need to like either buy them again or I don't know, switch, switch platforms to that, that other thing. So anyways. We bought on iTunes, and now we don't really use iTunes as much anymore. So I'm just weeding this design. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Delia. Material, um, this is Aura Mask 813 Stencil uh, Film. And if you go to the link, if you go to betterlifeblog.com slash um, supplies, I think is in the description box, scroll down and look for Aura Mask. It's the blue looking film. I use this a lot. Alicia saw Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, and A Star is Born. Those both look amazing. I really want to see those. Um, but again, I usually see kids movies because um, I uh, have kids. <laughs> That, that I take with me everywhere. I need like some, I need a babysitter is what is really what I need. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, Callie, decal designs. What's up, girl? How are you guys? I missed you guys. I miss crafting with you guys. It's been, I was just telling everybody, it has been a year. It's been a year. And uh, it's really been a while since I've done live crafting. Um, on my main page, I know that you girls see me all the time in the in the, our our group, our VIP Crafters Club group. Um, but I haven't gone on my on my main page in a while, so I'm hoping that now that the kiddos are back to school, I can do some more overall crafting. All right. So again, if you guys are just joining, you can get this file for free along with some other awesome free files um so all you need to do is go to betterlifeblog.com and scroll down a little bit and you will see a sweet actually hold on let me show you guys so first of all hi let me say hi hi guys let me show you my screen. Hold on. Okay. So this is my homepage. This is betterlifeblog.com. 
And if you scroll down past the welcome, let's get crafty, you'll see this free cut file bundle. And that's gonna include these six awesome files. This is, um, this is a cool kitchen sayings bundle pack thingy. It's really cute. It's got some um, cute kitchen things that you can put on kitchen towels or kitchen signs. There's this Laurel alphabet like monogram um, thing. It's got the entire alphabet and you can personalize so many things with this. I actually had just bought some, um, um, what do you call it? I just went to Ross this morning. Let me switch you guys. And I bought these Pyrex. They're so cheap, only $3.99. And I was just, um, I bought them because I wanted to do, I'll do a live for you guys soon using that Laurel um, monogram alphabet. And you just etch on the underside in reverse. And it makes a really cool gift, um, like a housewarming gift or something like that. You could even go with the bigger Pyrex containers. So, um, so then, yeah, and then we've got the um, Scrabble tiles. And then we've got the Farmer's Market, which is the one I am making today. And then we also have this laundry file, laundry co, wash, dry, and fold, same day service, which is a really cute laundry sign. I'll be making that too very soon. And then we also have this water bottles file. So make sure you go check that out. It's just on the homepage, betterlifeblog.com. Just scroll down, you're gonna click through and then it's gonna take you through a whole, uh, like a download process. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you would, I would totally appreciate it if you guys would uh, let other people know about this um, in your groups and with your friends. Um, yes, of course, Crystal, yes. Um, I'm glad to share any tips and knowledge. Actually, I'm, I want to do a tips video. I know I've been saying that for a long time, but Hopefully now that things are a little less crazy, I can actually do a tips video. Alicia said, watch the movies only with your husband. Yes, date night. I know, girl. I know. What is a date night? <laughs> what is it? By the time I put my kids to bed, I am so exhausted. Like, I can't even watch. I don't even think I can watch a 30-minute show without falling asleep. Um, yay, Heather downloaded the welcome bundle. Woo, woo. Yay, okay, so awesome. I am um, really excited about that. Okay, so here it is. I've weeded it out, um, and I'm just gonna get my transfer, transfer tape, transfer paper, transfer tape. This is my fancy transfer tape. It's fancy because it has the grid lines. All right, so I'm just peeling the transfer tape away and then I am placing it on my stencil vinyl. And so I just get a little bit on from this side and then I'm just gonna pull away the backer. Yay. Make sure it's on nice and good. And anytime you're peeling something, if you flip it over, if you flip the thing over and just instead of peeling it up, you peel the backing away, it's always easier that way. It took me a while to, to learn that, but so much easier to do it that way. So. 
current. So then when something comes up like this, you just go back over it and then pull it away slowly. I have no idea what's going on over here. What is this? I don't know why it's doing that. We're going to have to peel it kind of weird because of that spot over there. So I'm just going to peel it upward. And there it is. I don't know why it was. Oh, I do know why, actually. I think. No, I don't know why. That's strange. Anyways. It doesn't matter. As long as it all comes off, you just gotta make sure that all the little pieces came, um, didn't end up on the backing because you don't want you don't want to lose those. I can't tell you how many times that happened to me. All right, so I'm gonna be um, making this sign on my beautiful box frame. Whoops. This is from Chaka Tour, um, and if you want to check out the great surfaces, let me tell you, they've added some new blank surfaces. Um, go to betterlifeblog.com slash surfaces. A link is in the description box, but you can see all the beautiful, oh my gosh. I'm going to show you guys in a minute the beautiful surfaces that we have. Um, but... I love the box spring. It's perfect. It's perfect for sign making. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and place this right inside. Actually, I'm going just a little bit higher there. Okay, there we go. Perfecto. And by the way, this box frame comes, if you guys are, if you're somebody who has like an Etsy shop, this box frame comes packaged so nicely. It comes with these corners and it comes in a box that you can actually ship it in. So if you are somebody who is a sign maker, um, look into getting these, go to betterlifeblog.com slash surfaces. This is a really good option for you to be able to make and ship your signs. All right, so I'm just peeling this away. Okay, so I think uh, uh, I think I'm seeing a piece of my <laughs> lovely hair. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, you guys, is just pluck that out with my little tweezers. Hang on. You have long hair like I do. You know the struggle of like finding your hair <laughs> in the weirdest places. And if you've ever tried unclogging your vacuum cleaner, okay, super fun. Somebody please tell me that I'm not the only one who struggles with this issue. <laughs> All right, that's that's good enough. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I've got my Mod Podge. This is just the regular matte Mod Podge. You can get it from the Dollar Tree in a smaller package. My word open is missing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Shoot. It's still on my transfer tape. Oh, no. Look, here it is. It's on my it's on my transfer tape. Okay, I'm so glad you told me. I wish I saw that before I crumpled it and threw it in the trash, but that's all right. That's okay. Oh 
Hold on, guys. Mayday, mayday. Open. Oh, the end is backwards. That's not the right way. Okay, so I'm just going to actually take the end off and then I'll place it manually. Give me a second. Open. Thank you, Penny and Missy. Oops. Chicken lost her leg separator also. You guys, I'm losing my mind here. Where's the chicken leg separator? <laughs> okay, so let's get the open on there. And we'll get the little hyphen there. Okay. And now we'll get the N on there. Open. Do you guys remember the part in uh, Wizard of Oz where she goes, open? I gotta turn that open. I gotta tell the wizard to open the door. Okay, and then let's see. Here's my little leg separator. My little. My thigh gap, the chicken thigh gap, you guys. Here's the thigh gap for the chicken. That goes right there. You guys, I saved it. Thank you guys. You guys saved it actually. So here are all the pieces. Okay, everything is good. We're good. All right, so here is the Mod Podge. Now that all of our pieces are, are in order. I got this feeling inside my bones. All right. So um, I'm just gonna get a paintbrush. You could use a paint sponge, whatever you like to use. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush and I'm just gonna brush on a thin coat of Mod Podge. And I'm just doing that so that this, so that the um, black paint, when I come to paint the black paint on, that it won't bleed, bleed through the edges. And I'm just trying to make, keep it a thin, thin coat. Dry this. Make sure it's cold. So it doesn't melt your vinyl.
Saved, hooray. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Uh, Penny said, so if you use Mod Podge before painting, it won't bleed. Um, yeah, as long as you don't have any um, like gaps or holes. Um, so if you look over here, like if you had a giant hole somewhere, um, it would probably still bleed, but these are, this is pretty, I think it's pretty well sealed. There might be a couple areas, but um, for the most part, yeah, as long as you don't have any like huge bubbles or anything, putting the Mod Podge really helps to seal, um, seal that so that when you peel it off, and you wanna also make sure, again, that you don't have any like huge globs of Mod Podge, um, cause that doesn't end up very well. Missy, you can just go to the page. This will be posted on the Facebook page. Yes, thank you, Heather. All right, cool. A thin coat seals it a bit. Yes, exactly. Thanks, Heather. All right, so this is pretty much dry. So um, I'm gonna put my Mod Podge aside. I've got my, my chalk paint, my black, black ink chalk paint. And I'm just going to do some makeup sponge, sponge under this part. I'm just, just going to dip it straight, straight in. in. I don't know if that's probably not. not. That's probably not official. That's not official. That's, that's, not official. Official. that's, that's just, just what, what I do. I do. <laughs> All, right, All right, so, so I'm, I'm just, just going to dab, dab, dab in my paint. paint. On all the open areas. Oh, you can just make up sponges from a dollar, dollar tree. tree. So, so many, many things, things you can get, get from, from a dollar, dollar tree. tree. Or the, or the dollar, dollar 99 cent store, store whatever it is. My, My favorite, favorite dollar store, store is, you know, it's, it's not a traditional, traditional dollar, dollar store, store, it's Japanese dollar, dollar, dollar 50, 50, I should say. say. Um, store store is called Daiso. Daiso. D-A-I-S-O. D -A -I -S -O. So you guys, you, you should, should look, look up on my website, website and see if you have one near you. you. That, that is just, just the coolest dollar store. You walk in, everything is Pink and, and bright. bright. <laughs> it is a, a very, very fun, fun place to go, go shop. shop. Um, and they have, they have like cute stickers, like cute Japanese, Japanese like, like, um, like cute, cute little, little animal, animal stickers. Um, just, just so many, so many, so many cute things. things. Stuff, stuff that, that is made, made in Japan, Japan that like, like are just, just they're, they're just hard, hard to find stuff. stuff. Like, like you would never find something like that in a regular store. So I, love that. I love that. I love that store. Oh, Penny says she made a sign the other day and she didn't like it because it bled through. through. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so actually, there's, there's a couple of tips, tips I have, have for you, Penny. Penny. And one, one of them is you want to make, make sure that whatever you are painting, painting has, has been, been sanded. sanded. Um, that's, that's one, one of the things, things I like, like about these signs from Chocotor is that they're already, you don't, you don't have to worry about sanding it, it. they're already very, very smooth. But, but if you are using your own wood, or if you're using, using something from like Walmart, you want to make sure that you um, sand, sand it yourself really, really, really well. well. I can't, I'm, I'm not sure if the stuff from Michael's is pre-sanded or not. We just want to make sure that it is super soft, because any ridges in the wood um, your, your paint, paint is going to bleed through those little, um, just, 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 just picture, picture like, like if, if you were to like, like pour water or something, or something into it, it um, would, would it, it go, go through? through? If, you, if you, can you can picture whether, whether or not wood, 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 I mean, I mean water, water would kind of see through or not, that's, that's kind of a good, good way to think about, about it. it. 
So, so sanding, sanding it, um, sanding, sanding it after, after you paint, paint the base coat, coat if, if you are painting, painting the base coat. coat. I didn't did need a base coat, coat onto this, this. But if, if I was going, going to do that, that um, it would probably be a good, good idea. idea. Although, Although I might forget, forget to do that, that, that because I sometimes forget these things. So that's a good way. Sanding it. Sanding. And then the Mod Podge is another thing. Um, if you go, go to my website, website and then look, look at the Christmas, Christmas sign tutorial, tutorial, I think I have some pretty good um, uh, tips, tips there to, to kind of prevent, prevent bleeding. I need, I need to, to, I need I need to, to update, update that and make just a generic post. post. Um, so, so I will do that soon. Look at my hands are all black. Uh, ah. I'm, I'm echoing. echoing. Oh. oh. That's weird. weird. Let me just, just clean my hands with a certificate for that problem. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. Sorry, Sorry, guys. Um, is that better? Hello. Did I fix the echoing? Let me know. I see a little glob up here. Better. Okay, yay. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna dry this. And real quick, I'm not sure if you guys heard me the first time because it was loud, but there's a cold button on this. Um, make sure that when you're blow drying anything that you use the cold because you don't want anything to melt. comes the magical, usually magical, hopefully nothing disastrous happens. The magical reveal. See how crisp those lines are? Penny. Super crisp, and that's thanks to the Mod Podge, and thanks to this being a really smooth surface. Um, and just a reminder, always do thin, thin coats of everything, because once you start getting globby, things start getting, um, it just makes everything a little bit harder. The thinner coats you do, it would be better to do two thin coats than to do a thick globby coat. Looking good. This is super professional looking. And now I just gotta weed out all those little pieces where on my tweezers. I kind of um, interchange my tweezers and my um, my pen, my pin weeding tool. 
sometimes you just need that delicate, tiny little needle to pick up these inside pieces here. Thigh gap, chicken thigh gap. Thank you guys for catching my mistake earlier. Um, I totally just threw those letters away. Um, but I'm glad we were able to rescue them. So that's good. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, Alicia. <laughs> Chicken thigh gap! <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Uh, what did I use on the farmers? This is called um, April. April. I don't know how you say it. Um, I'll post a link for you. If you message me, I will send you a link, Norma. What is the blue stuff I used? Hi. Okay, so um, Mopsy's Murphy Jamie says, what is the blue stuff you used for the template? Let me show you guys. So if you go to betterlifeblog.com slash supplies, um, do I have a way of getting to that easily? Oh, I think it's, if you click on my favorite craft tools right at the top of the website, you'll get to supplies. And then if you scroll down, you can see um, this right here. This is the Aura Mask um, 813 stencil film. I use this for almost everything. I am not big on adhesive vinyl um, to, um, as much as I like to actually paint stuff on. So I love my aura mask. Um, this is the transfer tape that I used. Um, I also use this, but I, I wouldn't get these on Amazon. I would just go to the Dollar Tree and get them for a dollar. Um, but if you're in, you know, if you're an Amazon junkie like I am, <laughs> it's, there's a link there to Amazon. Um, here's the Mod Podge that I used. And then here's some chalk paint. This is not the exact one that I used but that is um, an option for you that you can get on Amazon. And then this, okay, this is actually a smaller box frame. This is a five by five um, by five and a half by seven and a half. Um, the one that I use is this one. This is the nine by 12 box frame and I just turned it on, on its side. So um, yeah, let me switch back. I'm gonna show you guys some of the other surfaces too that I love. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna have to save that for another video because they're all scattered around in like different places. Um, 
Yay. Crystal said, this was great. Thank you so much. So glad I was just looking through and found your page. Yay. Thank you so much, Crystal. I'm glad you joined us. Um, you are welcome, Mopsies Murphy um, Jeannie. I'm not sure which one is your first name, but I'm, I'm thinking it's Jeannie. So thank you so much, Jeannie. Thank you guys, everybody. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come on, show you guys this sign. And um, yeah, you guys can get this for free. Just go to betterlifeblog.com on the homepage. Scroll down um, for the free welcome bundle that you guys can get. So, and I would totally appreciate this if you guys would share this with your friends, let them know, um, share this in your crafting groups. Um, or just with your crafting buddies who love sign making and who would love a free cut file bundle. So thank you guys so much. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.